Yo, quickly before the video does start, drop a like on the video if you guys are excited for the brand new Operation Apocalypse Z that's going to be going live next week within Black Ops 4. And also, subscribe to the channel and turn those post notifications on if you guys can relate to the clip you guys are about to watch. It's super duper tragic. Hope you guys do enjoy today's video. And with that being said, let's jump right into it. There is a new specialist coming to Black Ops 4 within the new Operation Apocalypse Z. That's going to be going live within the 1.20 update next Tuesday on July 9th. Now, the specialist is going to be called Reaper. He's actually a specialist from Black Ops 3. This gameplay you're going to see right here sums up Black Ops 4 in a nutshell as of right now. Let's get into it. So... I'm playing free for all using the Damon. Now, I'm on the map Morocco. This is, like I said, one of the best maps to get a nuke down on. If you guys missed my nuked out guide video, I specifically said Morocco is one of the best maps to drop nuked outs. Now, I take this guy out here, I'm gonna immediately go over to the spawn and I take out another guy. Now, you guys need to keep in mind and take a mental note on what you guys are watching within this video this really isn't a nuked out breakdown but you can kind of use this as a breakdown if you guys want to now i wasn't even going for a nuked out when i was playing in here i literally was just running around having a good time and then i quickly realized holy cow i could potentially get my fastest nuked out so i'm over here just like just rotating this back area where you should be on this map just you know picking players off now, I noticed there's a guy sniping in this lobby. This whole lobby was filled of just weird players. You guys can see here a random kid in a corner with body armor, razor wire behind him. You know, that's a flag on the play that a lot of people are not moving around. They're just sitting and waiting on their specialist. Now, I catch the same guy here, get really lucky, take out his body armor, pop the UAV, and from right here, things are about to speed up very quickly. Now, Take a mental note, Mr. Yumo, the guy I'm about to take out right now. I pop this guy here. Now, remember him. Remember his gamer tag. He's very, very important for this video. Now, I'm going to go over here, slide over here, take this guy out. He was hit by the Seeker drone, unfortunately. I turn on this guy. I don't know what the hell he's doing. He's running away. Take him out. This guy literally has the gun skill of a potato. He's not, he's not good. I go over here. I take this guy out. Another player with absolutely no gun skill sitting in a corner with <laughs> i don't know what he had just in a random corner take out that shotgun player again gonna pop around here again the razor wire is still down i don't know if that was the same razor wire i think it was another replacement one pop this guy um i'm looking for the flip spawn not there right here mr yumo again gun skill of a potato gets completely completely outplayed uh, I got full streaks right here. I'm kind of noticing. All right, I can go for a fast nuked out. You know, forget calling my streaks, and I'm gonna try to get my nuked out secured. I'm gonna go rotate back around here. I'm um, 14 and 0. I'm feeling good about myself, man. The lobby is full of, let alone just what you guys have to call bots, not good players. Take out Mr. Uh, Yumo again on a 15. I just got my specialist. Uh, you know, the lobby's looking good. He actually spawned. Another guy spawned down there again. Took him out easily. Um, this guy should not have shot, gets turned on, you know, doing my thing in free-for-all. Now, right here, about to pop the specialist, you know, getting in mid-map. I don't really recommend doing this, but I was feeling myself in this lobby. Cut this kid up, go around the corner here, take this guy out again. Got the UAV in mid-room with the blade. You know, it's a pretty much a GG from this point. Gonna pop over here, take this guy out. I'm on a 20. I'm feeling super good. Look at the score, guys. 20 to 6. Guys are getting absolutely blown out. I got really, really lucky there. I'm surprised that that guy didn't kill me. He should have fired one more bullet. Would have been done. 21 to 6. Nobody in the lobby. 21 to 7. Gonna come through. Take this guy out. Another guy over here. I'm just gonna come around and get him from behind. 22 to 7. 23 to 7. You guys seeing this, right? 23 to 7. It's a guy on top of me. Gonna go up here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and follow this guy and quickly take him out. 23 to 8. It's about to be 24 to 8. I literally thought I was about to get destroyed right there. That G-Man guy was probably honestly the only person in the lobby that had any type of gun skill. Take this guy out. 25 to 8. I'm thinking to myself, it's over. I'm getting this nuked out. Uh, it's going to be a GG rap in the chat. Now, keep in mind, Mr. Yumo again over here. Take him out. You know, I third party. Take out Mr. G-Man again. 27 to 8. 3 off the nuked out. I take out his Hawk. You know, I'm thinking... 
It's over. I got this nuked out, man. I got it. There's no way I'm gonna die. No way I'm gonna die. Take this guy over here. I'm 28 to 8. Not even 10 kills the other guy has. Here's this guy again. I hear this. Now, my dumbass went over here. I don't even know if it's my fault, but take this guy out here. I see Mr. Umo. Boom. 29. And I died to a kid spamming a fucking sparrow. Guys. With the new specialist that's coming to Black Ops 4, it's going to be the Reaper Specialist from Black Ops 3. I'm going to get into what he's going to be pretty much entailing his abilities, you know, his special equipment. <sighs> this is Black Ops 4 in a nutshell. Um, hopefully this isn't going to be a recording thing when the new specialist is coming, but I just had to include that in today's video because 29-0 and dying off of a nuked out to a specialist. Drop a like on the video if you can relate. With all being said, let's jump right into it. Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is your boy, Iris. Hope you guys are having a great rest of your day, start your day, whatever time it may be. And the new specialist that's coming to Black Ops 4 is pretty insane. Now, Treyarch actually teased Reaper's call sign. I'm putting the image on screen right now. It is pretty safe to say if you put two and two together, Reaper is going to be the next specialist in line to come into Black Ops 4. Now, we're going to be expecting to see Reaper coming in the game next Tuesday within the brand new Operation Apocalypse Z that's going to be going live on July 9th, first on the PS4, and immediately the week after that on July 16th for the Xbox One and PC. Now, if you guys have not played Black Ops 3, you have to understand, Reaper was a specialist in Black Ops 3, and debatably, he was the best specialist within the entire game. Now, when Black Ops 3 first launched, Reaper had the scythe aka the minigun which was his specialist weapon this was a 200 round box magazine minigun and it was the most devastating thing that i've ever seen in call of duty history at the time this specialist weapon can easily kill the entire enemy team i'm talking about nine players because ground war was in black ops 3 three times over it was that good it was quickly nerfed after launch and it was reduced down to about 75 rounds after its first initial one or two nerfs this gun or the specialist weapon i should say got nerfed quite a few times in the game because it was that good now if you bring this into black ops 4 I can't even imagine the carnage we could see. Now, let me know down in the comment section right now. Do you guys like Reaper? Are you guys excited for seeing him return to Black Ops 4? Do you guys think he's going to be overpowered? Let me know your opinions on this specialist right now because I have a feeling if this specialist is going to be just as good, if not remotely as good as it was in Black Ops 3 off launch, we are going to be seeing a lot of people up in arms calling for a nerf. We're going to be seeing a lot of players using this in multiplayer, especially in free-for-all game modes. Because you think about it this way, you have a 200-round minigun in free-for-all. You could kill like 10-plus people. Nuked outs are going to be so easy with this specialist. You're also going to be seeing the specialist a lot in team deathmatch and other game modes where you can run two of the same specialists granted it's a 6v6 game mode this is going to be quickly the best and most used specialist within black ops 4 once everybody has him unlocked which obviously they give the specialist within the first tier so everybody's going to have access to these specialists and it's going to be pretty disgusting now we haven't even gotten into a specialist ability now within black ops 3 his specialist ability was psychosis now the psychosis was a kind of a decoy he can send out decoys of himself he can disguise himself to look like the decoys to kind of disrupt the battlefield and i'm gonna keep it a buck i don't believe this is actually going to be coming to black ops 4 because it really doesn't fit like the gameplay it doesn't really fit the vibe of the game and i don't really see them adding this into black ops 4 because it's not gonna flow right let me know down in the comment section if you guys think that this is something we could see within gameplay because quite honestly I don't potentially potentially see it. it it just doesn't flow right let me know what you guys think his best specialist ability is gonna be because 
honestly, with Reaper, I think he's going to have some type of maybe like he can move faster. He gets in increased speed, something like that to kind of couple with, you know, his minigun so he can, you know, get on the map faster and kill people. That's about the only thing I could see his special ability be kind of how, you know, uh, Ruin has a grapple hook. Maybe Reaper can run faster or something like that. It's definitely going to be pretty unique to see him, you know, being brought back into the game because if you think about it, Synaptic from Infinite War, if you guys played that game, had kind of like a rush down ability propulsion that move around the map a little bit quicker. I could definitely see some type of speed and agility upgrades with his specials ability, but not along the lines as you know drastic as uh ruins you know grapple hook i want to kind of make this video to kind of prepare you guys mentally prepare you guys on how good reaper is how insane he could potentially be within black ops 4 and to also get your opinions on this specialist and him returning into kind of the gameplay of black ops 4 because all the specialists in the game right now especially you know we saw sparrows crossbow absolutely just destroying me off my nuke out we have nomads guard dog we have the purifier you know we have batteries war machine we have zero with the hack all the specialists are really good adding reapers scythe aka the minigun it could definitely shake some things up and i'm really curious your guys opinions on it and how this is gonna be you know <laughs> how it's gonna play within black ops 4 hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video if you guys did make sure you guys drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel turn those post notifications on so you guys are staying up to date with all the new updates leaks best class setups anything new with, like revolving around black ops 4 and with that being said hope you guys have a great rest of your day i'm gonna catch you guys in the next one deuces if you guys made it this far into the video, odds are you guys are a loyal subscriber of mine or you guys really enjoy the content and I cannot appreciate and thank you guys enough. If you guys are unaware, I stream every single night over on Twitch around 12 a.m. Central Time. I also stream every morning around 12 p.m. Central Time. On Twitch, my username is EarsXBL. If you type that in, it's going to be the first channel that does pop up. Once you click, you're going to be seeing that we just hit 3,000 subscribers and we are on the road to 4,000 subscribers. So make sure you guys go ahead and drop me a follow. Every single night and every single morning, you guys have been going above and beyond and absolutely smashing the viewership requirement for partnership, which we are about to hit. Also, if you guys want to take the extra step and you guys have Amazon Prime, you guys are automatically enrolled to one free Twitch Prime sub a month. If you guys use your Twitch Prime sub on me, I'd be greatly appreciative of that and I will love you forever. Also, if you guys actually do subscribe to the channel using whether it's Amazon Prime or using the regular $4.99 a month subscription, make sure you guys tweet me a picture over on Twitter. I'll make sure to follow you guys. Thank you. And we can play in a couple of matches on Call of Duty. I play with viewers and subscribers, so don't be obligated to subscribe if you guys want to play with me. Thank you guys for all the support. I'm really excited to, you know, go over and transfer some audiences to Twitch so we can go over and take over this website. It's been your boy Ears. Love you guys. And let's start this new chapter. Deuces.